Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a button on your MailChimp newsletter template. In order to do that, you need to be on your template section. Simply log into your MailChimp account, then click on campaigns and then click on email templates. Select your template that you want to change. Click on edit. And on this email template builder, you have two ways to add a button. Simply, you can drag this button on your email area and then add the concern link for this button and change the text. Let me add a button for this email. Okay. Let's say we want to add a button over here. Simply drag this button and drop over here. We have three sections. As you can see, this is the button text. This is the link types and this is the actual link. Over here, we can simply write the visit our website since this is a website link so we are uh, not changing this section though it has other types of links as well here is the email address anchor link or any file all right so let's change the web address give your link over here and then click on save in order to change the background color, just like your brand color of this template, simply make sure that you have the color handy or color code handy and then go back to the button area, then click on the style, then change the background color with your preferred color, then click on save. On preview, you can see that the button has been added. This is the easiest way you can add a button to your newsletter. Now let me show you another way that you can add any button or any style or any animated button as well. In order to do that, we can use any animated GIF. Let's find out animated GIF button. Insert, I mean search, then find your preferred logo or animated just like this, okay, or this one. Now. Let's open this and then save this image. Make sure it's a GIF format. I'm saving this on my desktop. So save. Go back to newsletter editor and now click on blocks. Drag the image set image. I mean image block. Drop on the preferred location that it. Click on upload an image and then click on upload from your desktop. Simply select the image that you wish to add the button. As you can see this is the button so you can change the size click on edit make sure proportion should not be okay and click on custom change the proportion i mean change this and change like this i think it will be really nice click on save just wait for a second as you can see the animation is not working save and preview text as you can see the animated button is actually not working when you are editing the image so let's get back to the editing section click on replace select the image view details select the first one this is actually the animated button from here you can simply add your link so that it can be considered as a button and click on save so using an image you can add a button on your email newsletter on mailchimp another way that you can add any button on anywhere of your mailchimp newsletter how do you do that simply click any part of your template and on text area as you can see this is a read more link it's actually it can be converted as a button as well since the buttons are actually uh, hyperlinked text or any shape of design insert let it be a little bit lower and highlight this only this text area then change the background color of this text let's say it's um black okay and on this code area you need to simply add a little bit of code over here so on this area you simply need to add 
padding padding in top let's say it's 10 pixel and padding at the bottom it should be 10 pixel padding in the right that should be 15 pixels and padding in the left it should be 15 pixels this is how you can make any link into a button on your newsletter let's go back to preview and on this preview as you can see here is a button so if I click over here it drives me to the preferred website URL okay so you have learned three ways to add button on MailChimp newsletter by using this block, using image and using a link or code. Thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing for new updates.